Hi guys, Kyung here, and I'm all excited. I wanted to show you guys this little scrappy travel journal I just finished. Um, it's one of like the little journals I've been making on the side. And here is its cover, right? I did like a quilted kind of fabric cover. Um, I even sewed like quilted this uh, quilt block and then kind of collaged some uh, Kathy Holden fabric bits and um, some stamped, these are Lorna's uh, stamps, tailor-made journals, um, her custom stamps, and then like some Tim Holtz people and some of his like ideology stuff and one of his little flowers and a butterfly <laughs> on the spine, yay! And so it's a two signature and it's closed with some sari silk. Let's open it up. Oh, I have things falling. Okay, so here is our cover. Um, again, I used kind of like some scrap kind of uh, papers I had around so it's a little scrappy right I just use like extras I had here's a flippy book and kind of the idea with this journal is like traveling all around the world I think is kind of the idea so it's got Paris stuff and um, just different stuff from all over right so we have maps throughout as well and postage stamps it's just a little journaling card and an area to journal in. Um, that's my like uh, hand dyed paper. Here we have a notebook, right? A little notebook. And this really cool like coffee dyed envelope that I did upside down. And <laughs> it says this side up. I thought that was funny. Anyway, <laughs> because it is not that side up, right? And it's just got that in there. All right, so there's that. That goes in there like that. Here, this is like a greeting card flip, right? I collaged a bunch of stamps and like this really cool map of New York City on there. I think it's like a vintage New York City. Um, yay, an area to journal. And then in here we have this. Isn't that cool? It's like Texas. Ta-da! And it opens up to reveal more journaling. And that just goes in that. And then here we have this little altered paper clip with um, in behind it is an area to write. And then we have this map like journaling card and an Edith Holden, um, one of these like calendar pages, right? <laughs> Which I thought was pretty. Why not include it? And then on this page, on the other side of the altered paper clip, we have a little tiny little airplane uh, envelope with just some journaling on the inside. This just folds open like this. Ta-da! <laughs> and then this is a vintage postcard. Isn't that awesome? Super awesome. And let's remove this paper clip and on behind the paper clip we have these little tags. Right? Aren't those excellent? I love, I love the way they came out. So I just did some stamping and then put some uh, um, tickets in behind and then put like a Tim Holtz person on there. Great, I love him. Anyway, and then uh, this pocket is another like vintage postcard, right? Here we have another one of Taylor Made Journal's stamps, right? More stamping. Lots of journaling, which I like to do in my journals. Leave lots of journaling paper. Another map page. Lots of journaling. Another map page. And just a decorated kind of page, you know. Lots of 
Acts of Journaling, another map page, and then this page. I love her. Isn't she so cute? I loved that. Ta-da! And it flips open to reveal this cool map with this, with this, and this opens. Ta-da! To reveal some tickets and some place to write. <laughs> and then, of course, you can write all along the top on the back side of that. And then here we have a pocket with journaling cards. Just some journaling cards. This one I collaged. I think this was part of a master board. She's lovely, isn't she, with the leaves and everything. And then this cool little cluster that someone made and sent me. Um, I don't remember who. <laughs> so forgive me. We have this page that says adventure and you make me happy. And this journaling card. Right? I love them. And then this journaling card. So just some journaling cards. Go in there with this little fabric um, bicycle, which uh, someone also sent to me. <laughs> someone, I know someone from Miss P's group sent me this one. <laughs> this little flip, right, which she's gorgeous. This was done following uh, a video of Miss P's. I don't remember which one, but yep, and I made it into a flip. It's got little real flowers on there. Here is one of these secret window pages. It's just an acetate window page, actually. It's got this in there. Ta-da! For journaling. And then we have this. Isn't this so cool? This is a, like one of those Tim Holtz hinges. My sister got me one. And so I connected it to this piece of cardstock. And look, ta-da! It flips open. And I put it on there way crooked. Way crooked. But that's okay because it's a floating balloon you know <laughs> here we have this cool little pocket and it's got like wild west stuff in it right you know visiting the wild west right one of these because you always use one of these when you're on vacation <laughs> uh, just things that reminded me of travel or you know visiting places i thought this was really cool here we have the fairy kind of page, right? Where you visit the fairy area. Oh, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a copper playing card. I thought that was so cool. To fear love is to fear life. And then we have this cool maze, which I thought matched like a fairy land area. <laughs> That's the idea behind that page. Fairies. A fairy land. I think this flips open, yes, to reveal... Um, journaling, right? And then there's a pocket in behind there. Here we have another one of these really cute little clusters that someone made and sent me. It's so I think this one Joy made. Joy from Drunk Journaling with Joy. Isn't it so cute? So cute. Um, it could have been Keisha though too. <laughs> My memory is terrible, so forgive me on that. On this side, we have this cool guy. He's so cool. And we have this little envelope. It's so cute. I love this little envelope. And on the inside, ooh, it's stuck. It's stuck. We can get it out of there. We have this cool thing. And it's just, oh, because it's it was, yes, it was cut from a master board. I put this cool clock on it. You open it up, and it's just some journaling. You know, to remind you what time that your train train is and all those things. <laughs> Lots more journaling, right? Just, um, I also left these. So these are just little, like, envelope pockets, right? And I left them blank. So you can put whatever you want on them or whatever. It's the only thing I left, like, not decorated. Here we have some of my pretty dyed papers and coffee dyed papers and a doily. I love that. That's pretty. This is a vintage U.S. Army postcard. Isn't that cool? It's a real vintage United States Army postcard. I think it's dated, oh geez, maybe the 30s. I'm not sure. 
I'd have to look at the little package. I got it from the antique store. Here we have a library pocket and card. And this page, I thought that was so cute. This is a vintage book illustration and I turned it into a pocket and I thought it was so cute <laughs> of her like riding the camel all proud like hey <laughs> oh so we have just you know some little journaling cards I colored that one in this one is a piece of ephemera some like vintage um I don't know maybe a magazine clipping I'm not sure advertisement anyway and this is a journaling card bum bum a journaling card and then here we have this little this flips open and you can write in it and then we have a couple of tickets some Tim Holtz tickets right I just stuck those in there like that because I thought those looked great this opens like that ta-da and we have a piece of um, handmade paper in there. A piece of handmade purple paper. This pretty vintage uh, book illustration I loved. And then um, here is like a connected little little mini notebook, right? Connected to this page. This kind of map page. Lots more journaling, right? Lots more journaling. The other side to that envelope. Um, here we have this pocket, and this is more kind of Wild West stuff, right? Look at that. Isn't that cool? This one is in Canada. Those are Canadian lumberjacks. Back in the day, oh geez, a long, long time, maybe 18 something even. A long time ago super cool cool photo and a horseshoe journaling card and this cool lady and this illustration came from mrs. Coggs on Etsy doom, doom. okay these go back in here and we have just a little cluster I made and a stamp because I thought that was so cool right with the Buffalo so cool and this cool lady right in behind in front of these roses and tickets and stuff and some more journaling cards right and some postcards that came from my vintage butterfly kit that's what those are and the last page which is a Tim Holtz ticket that I turned into a pocket and these are just some graphics fairy uh, journaling cards that I had lying around. So I thought they would be perfect to put in here. I love her. She's fabulous. So yes, they go in there like that. And that is the end of the journal. Ba -bum. I'm very happy with it. I love it. I'll have to remember where this went and put it back in there. Um, probably here, yes. Um, anyway, it will be listed in my Etsy shop and um, I just I really wanted to show you guys and uh, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed it and stuff and um, I will talk to you later. Bye.